So here we go then folks, welcome along to episode number two of our Team Chase Line and my team F1 2020 career mode and it is the grand debut of the Pink and Black Attack Team Chase Liner here at Albert Park in Melbourne, Australia. And while we're here in Australia, a good shout out to my Australian friends, uh, Trent Cornell and uh, Mitch Honer as well. Hope you are both having a fantastic day. So, there she is, the girl of the moment. She's not got a rival yet, but uh, that is something that apparently we get further on down uh, the career mode. So, we'll look forward to seeing who she gets as her first uh, rival. I've got an idea who uh, we'll go for, but we'll come to that as it uh, comes down to time. So, the R&D tree. This is still here. But also, you get uh, durability failures now as well. So, it's going to be interesting to see what happens there. Everything, as you would expect, is alright. We've uh, done practice and we've done qualifying. So, there's the championship. Uh, we have two new drivers for you in the field. Uh, Esteban Ocon has returned to Renault. Uh, to partner Daniel Ricciardo and Nicholas Latifi has joined Williams. Uh, who did he replace? Oh, he replaced uh, Robert Kubica. Um, last scene. Who remembers Robert Kubica? Everyone does. So, as you can see, we had some nice stuff come from the aero department for our interview questions. So we'll perhaps look at uh, developing something here. On the in on the aero side, maybe in time for Vietnam, possibly China, we'll uh, have to see there about what uh, goes on. You can probably hear the bin men outside, which is why I'm talking louder than I need to talk right now. Somebody should tell the bin men to please kindly shut up. Uh, we've got a couple of chassis uh, upgrades as well, which is uh, nice. The phone is going. And uh, my brother's also streaming as well. How inconsiderate is that? So, in development for Bahrain, we've got an engine and a durability upgrade. So, that being said, I think we are all ready. We will go. We've already practiced. We've already qualified. Let us go to the race. 15 laps of Albert Park. And we'll see what she can do on the uh, starting line for her very first... Team Chase Slider Grand Prix. Shut up, Bim Men! It's finally time once again to begin what promises to be another thrilling season of Formula One action. Pre-season time, subject of so much discussion in recent weeks, mean nothing now as the cars line up to battle it out for points once again. So let's get this season underway. Welcome to the Australian Grand Prix. Just south of Melbourne's downtown business centre is the one and only Albert Park Circuit. 3.3 miles of public roads, closed for the weekend of course, make for a bumpy circuit with little undulation. There are 16 corners around the lake and a couple of good passing opportunities here as well. Thanks in part to the DRS zones into turns 1, 3 and 13. Can Mercedes start with victory in their bid to win a seventh consecutive constructors' title? Could Ferrari or Red Bull establish an advantage early on? And with 22 cars on the grid, how quickly can the new team find their footing? Well, it's great to be back, Anthony Davidson. We've got a lot to talk about this year. That's right, Crofty. It felt like a long winter, but it's good to finally be back. I have to think the usual suspects will battle it out at the front, but there are always going to be some teething problems early on in the season, so whoever can keep on top of their issues will have the advantage today. As I mentioned earlier, we're up to 11 teams this season, with a new entry run by, well, of all things, an owner-driver. That's something we haven't seen in this sport since Hector are back over four decades ago. So how are they looking so far? It's hard to imagine how a small operation like that could survive in the ruthless world of Formula One. And yet here they are, first ever race looking surprisingly strong. But there are no points for qualifying. Let's see how they fare in the Grand Prix proper. 
it's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The fence starts from pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Vettel, Max Verstappen, and Albon, Sainz, Ricardo, Norris, and Lance Stroll, Ocon, Perez, Midas, and Gasly, Magnussen, Fiat, Kimi Raikkonen, and Antonio Giovinazzi, Grosjean, Calderon, Russell, and Nicholas Latifi. And now it's time to head down to the track. So here we are then on the start line for the Australian Grand Prix, and I'm very proud of how Jackie and Tatiana performed out there. P13 for Jackie, P20 for Tatiana. And you can't say anything better than that. Jackie just hooked the lap up and she absolutely went for it. I think it's got something to do with the upgrades. It's not difficult to know uh, a lot of people have been having the same uh, issue. So maybe the, the uh, patch to uh, sort performances out hasn't quite uh, come through yet. As far as the race goes, uh, it will be a one-stop race. We'll pit on lap uh, number 7 and go all the way through to lap number 15 on the uh, soft tyre. No, we're on starting on soft, we'll still on to the medium tyre. Fuel? Don't touch the fuel because, well, don't touch the fuel. <laughs> why, why would you want to touch the fuel? I uh, certainly wouldn't want to touch uh, the fuel, or that's uh, for damn sure. But uh, I think we're ready, and I think we're all set to go. So let's uh, get out there, let's hope we can have a good result. I will take a P13 if we finish there. Anything better, even a point, that would be an absolute miracle today. But uh, let's get out there. Let's have Jackie and Tatiana do some business for us. So here we go, folks. Can you feel the tension rise for the first race of Team Chase Line? Now it's glide the lights, right? It's lights out of the way we go. It's initially a great start for us compared to the racing point and the Renault up in front of us. Jackie's uh, got away very nicely, if you do mind me saying so. Going into the first goal. Oh, she had a bit of contact there with uh, one of the cars. I think uh, one of them uh, went all the way around there as we head down to turn three for the first time. And uh, you can see the pink machine has got us all oh, sneaking up the inside. Who is that? That is, oh, that is Sergio Perez, I do believe. Trying to sneak the car in there. There was not enough uh, room there for uh, two pink cars, let alone one pink car. But we got four on the grid, except ours are pinker. And ours look more uh, better. Although we are thinking of change the delivery in the future. So uh, bear, in, uh, bear in mind for that as we head down the back section for the first time. You've got the two McLarens, the two Renaults in front of uh, Jackie. You've got Lando Norris, Daniel Ricciardo, Esteban Ocon and uh, Carlos Sainz. Carlos Sainz who for the F1 2021 game will be in a Ferrari next year. Good uh, good on him. And returning to the Renault seat to take his place is uh, Juan Fernando Alonso. Uh, you love to see uh, something like that as Jackie heads down to turn 13 for the first time. And you can see Lando is uh, just in front of us. So she's in P11 at the moment. So she's made up two positions off the line. I think Tatiana's uh, made up a couple of, uh, done a couple of positions as well. So that is uh, fair play and fair game to uh, the pair of them. They both uh, look to be in form straight away off the bat. And Bottas sets the fastest lap of the Grand Prix. Then Mercedes have been absolutely flying. Uh, if you do notice uh, the Mercedes, it is the wrong uh, livery for the Mercedes uh, this week. So uh, we're going to be seeing uh, about a change uh, for that as uh, we head down uh, to turn number, what we got here? we got turn number three. That is Sergio Perez still trying to have a word here for P11. And uh, oh, something uh, flew off a car there. I think that was off uh, the Haas uh, behind them. We'll uh, have to get that uh, checked out as uh, Jackie heads down to turn number, I, I forgot what turn that is. But we're going to move forward down to lap number three. Jackie's still in P, uh, P11, but you can see she's starting to uh, gain a little bit on Lando Norris here in front of her. So, and Lando Norris is in the last points paying position, folks. That is something to keep your eye on. Jackie could eff effectively walk away with a point. What scenes would that be at Team Chase Lions' first race to walk away with one solitary point? As we go up to uh, the front of the field here, this is Carlos Sainz and Daniel Ricciardo. And uh, Daniel looking, uh, having a look all around here. He's going to have a go, uh, think about it. But no, Carla Sainz holds on to that position. We've got much more aggressive uh, AI this year. And that's, uh, that's really going to help uh, race along. But Jackie's still gaining and gaining and gaining. 
on uh, Lando Norris as we move on to lap number four now. And you can see she's still chipping away. She's only just about uh, a second away from uh, Lando, which is pulled away from Kevin Magnussen, which is uh, the most important thing here because we're, we're basically in a competition here with the Haas team and the Alfa Romeo team. But uh, it uh, all seems to be going uh, right here for the moment as we come through turn 15. And now Lando Norris, he's right there. I think we're going to have DRS this lap. Let's see. Where, no, we don't. I thought uh, it would be a DRS uh, pass there as we go to Kevin Magnussen. Speaking of Kevin Magnussen, he's now about to be passed by Kimi Raikkonen down the main straight here for P13. You see Tatiana in the background. She's in P17. Or is that P... No, it's uh, P16, isn't it? 12, 13, 14. Yes, P16. So she's had an absolute amazing start uh, from P20. And you can see that it's only getting worse here because uh, Kevin Magnussen has now been passed by Pierre Gasly at the Alpha Towery. Uh, which was the uh, Toro Rosso from last uh, season, but don't get confused, but they changed their clothing company name. They call themselves Alpha Tauri. But look at this, Jackie right on the back of Lando Norris now. She is right there, folks. She's going to get DRS down into turn 13 if she stays with him. She's making good use of the overtake button as well. That's something new for this game as well. Don't, um, don't be confused with that. There's no... Uh, ERS effects where you're in mode 1 which is medium or you're in uh, overtake which is uh, mode 3 but you can see here she got the DRS and now will she make use of that Mercedes power unit against the Renault inside that uh, McLaren we'll uh, have to wait and find out as we go to uh, George Russell who's uh, fighting with his teammate uh, Nicholas Latifi the Canadian, oh somebody's wiggle wobbling uh, down the straight there and the two Williams is side by side. This is incredible. He didn't get this uh, in F1 2019 last year. But you see Nicholas the TV now taking the uh, George Russell. As Jackie still has the... Oh, she thought about a little look there into turn one. But uh, discretion, the better part of Valor. This is not uh, NASCAR after all. She is not going to get away with uh, a little bit of contact here. Any contact and you're going to be uh, paying for it straight away. But she's keeping Lando Norris very honest as we now move forward onto lap number seven. And uh, this is going to be the lots, the uh, money stop. Team Chase Liner's first ever pit stop in Formula One. And how will they uh, cope under the pressure against Lando Norris? We'll have to see and uh, find out as she turns into pit road here at uh, Albert Park. And down to the speed limit, which I think is 80. 80 kilometers an hour, 50 miles an hour. So it's uh, in that area, I can't uh, remember. Got a few. Uh, oh, she's come out between a Renault and a McLaren there. I don't think uh, she wants to do that. But look at the. Okay, hey, that's not our pit crew. That's the Mercedes pit crew. Can we can we have our pit crew, please? Thank you. Oh, we missed the pit stop. Oh, we're going to have to get on to Cody's about that because uh, we're not seeing the pit stops in the 11th team. That's uh, rather unfortunate, but out of the pit she comes, and uh, she, she is in P... Oh, I forgot what P she is, but uh, going forward now, Lewis Hamilton is uh, making through. This is for the de facto race lead here. Well, it's not for the de facto race lead. He is the leader, but uh, Valtteri Bottas in close attention as uh, Hamilton goes around uh, Danny Kvyat for P4. But uh, here's Lando Norris now. Now, Lando's going to make his stop now. Now, will Jackie get the undercut on Lando Norris? The undercut is a powerful, powerful thing here. You're going to hear that uh, a lot. You're going to hear that often. We'll see if uh, that happens as he heads into his... Yes, his pit stall of 18 men holding rubber. Yay! And everyone cheered at the same time after hearing that one. <sighs> take, a, take a bit of a drink here as Lando comes down pit road. Where is Jackie compared to Lando Norris? There she is. Come on, girl. Come on! Oh, she's just going to miss out. Then she's going to throw it around the outside. And she got Lando Norris. And, uh, <laughs> Mr. iRacer Supreme is being beaten by a woman. But he wants it back. He wants that point back. And he's going to make it uh, count as well as he goes around the outside. But Jackie is very firm and very stalwart. as she goes very wide through turn four and now turn five. And you're going to have to call on every inch reserve to beat this man as we move forward to lap number 11 now. No, two laps have passed and Lando is still there. No um, improvement on Carlos Sides. Carlos Sides actually pulled away as Lando thinks about looking to the chicane on the outside. But uh, down the back straight, well it's not technically the back straight, although it is the back straight. It's just got a chicane in the way. 
and uh, we'll see what happens as uh, Jackie tries to uh, defend stalwartly as uh, she likes, but uh, coming through to Chicane now. Down to turn 13, Lando Norris is right there, he's going to have a look on the outside into turn 13. Oh, you're going to have to wake up a day late and a dollar short because Jackie will not let anyone pass there as uh, we move forward a little bit now. Lap number 12. And uh, Jackie is still got Lando with attention, but she's also lost the back of uh, Carlos Sainz. Well, she's on the grass there, going uh, down to turn six, seven, and eight. And uh, that might uh, give Lando a little bit of incentive there as he comes through the sweeper. And he's going to have a look at the outside again. Jackie going defensive to the inside of the chicane. But uh, she makes that absolute beauty of a save there. But uh, all this is going to bring Kimi Raikkonen into play. He's uh, gaining on the, the pair of them here. Lando just doesn't have uh, an answer to get past uh, Jackie here. He really doesn't have uh, any kind of answer or any kind of clue. I mean, what uh, what more does he want him to do? Well, not more, much more if you ask me, because uh, he ain't going to come through. And we'll uh, make damn sure that he's uh, not going to come through here. But uh, coming through to turn 15... And uh, Jackie, oh, that sunset is uh, very blinded. You might uh, get distracted there. But, oh, a little wide in the last corner. That might give Lando a look here. But we'll go to the front of the field here. This is uh, Alexander Albon. He's uh, with Esteban Ocon. This is a fight for P6. And Esteban Ocon and his return to Formula 1. He's going to go around the outside of the tie Brit driver. And uh, that is a pass for P6. Would you, uh, Adam and Eva here? It may get worse here for Esteban, uh, sorry, for Alex Albon. As Daniel Ricciardo, the homeboy, is uh, going to have a look to the outside of the chicane. Oh, a bit of a squiggle there. Oh, you love a bit of a squiggle, squiggle. But they're still side by side through the sweeper. And I think Daniel Ricciardo is going to make this work. Yes, he is. Almost he is going to make it work. No, Alex Albon is still there. This is brilliant action from the AI side by side. And finally, I think, no, they're not. They're still going at it. <laughs> Honda versus Renault down to the chicane. Someone's got to give, and it's finally Daniel Ricciardo that uh, gets the position. But now Jackie's coming under pressure again from uh, Lando Norris. He's going to go to the outside of the chicane. But uh, Jackie, whoa. Jackie is stalwart in her defense. Will she keep that position down into turn 13? We'll have a look here. Uh, side by side, she's going to go down the inside. Oh, the big lock up there from Lando. And Lando has got the... T he, he's getting frustrated here. You can tell Lando Norris is getting frustrated with everything. And uh, that's not going to help him out in the slightest because this is one girl who does not, does not uh, fluster to the pressure. As uh, we go on to lap number 14 now and Lando is still coming. Jackie going defensive. Oh, big switch back move from Lando. But Jackie again with a fantastic defense, folks. This defense is absolutely incredible for a girl who's done no Formula 1 action at all. It's unbelievable how brilliantly she is performing here at the Albert Park circuit. She may get found out in the next race because uh, we don't have any Mercedes power that Mercedes have. But uh, she is being absolutely stalwart and beautiful. And I think Tatiana's uh, doing that equally as good down the uh, road here. As we go a little further in the field, here's Daniel Ricciardo, Alex Albon and... Uh, Oh! Oh, hello! That's a that's a bust. That's a spot. That's a spot for us. That's uh, one of the Renaults uh, blown up, and oh, the other Renaults cropped out. Oh my God! This is insane. This is insane. This is absolutely insane, folks. There's one of the Renaults retiring, and here comes the other one retiring in the corner. And my God, Jackie's in P8. <laughs> What? Scenes. Absolute scenes, folks. Here at uh, here at the Grand Prix. And and there's somebody pitting. Is that Alex Albon pitting? I think it is. Jackie's going to be in a P7. What's going on here? What is going on? This, this is the stuff of dreams. The absolute stuff of dreams, folks. Haas had this similar... Uh, debut when they uh, debuted in the sport. We saw uh, Jackie defend against Lando there, so this is now for P7. But this this is un incredible. This is unheard of, folks. This is utterly fantastic. And you can see Sergio Perez here. These tracing points, which are basically Mercedes and drag. He's having a look at the outside of uh, Roman Grosjean here. And that's going to be for P14, but that's not the story. 
the story here, folks, is the unbelievable feat that's uh, about to happen. Lewis, Ham yeah, Lewis Hamilton wins the race. Woohoo! Lewis Hamilton wins the race. No one cares, Lewis. Go away, mother. Whatever. Yeah, the game's got a hard on for Lewis Hamilton once again. Whoa, that's uh, all we needed. But here we go. This, uh, guys, this is absolutely incredible here. She's got one more DRS zone to uh, defend from. Kimi Raikkonen's coming up quick as well as, oh, Jackie throws it in. But she's going to hold on, folks. I tell you what, this is going to be a victory. This is an absolute victory. Who would have thought the little team that could is going to come through and take points in his first race ever to the line? And Jackie's going to get P7! Unbelievable scenes, folks! And as usual, Jeff couldn't give an absolute fuck. Driver of the day, Kimi Raikkonen. Is he hell? We all know who the real driver of the day is. So Mercedes have won it, and what a great race it was. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. And after this round of the World Championship, Here's how things look in the driver's table. After an incredible performance, Lewis Hamilton secures the top spot in the driver's championship. Now, let's discuss, Ants. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? For me, it's Kimi Raikkonen, someone who definitely doesn't get enough attention for how well he performs out on the track. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Mercedes moved to the top of the table. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action. I can't wait to see what's next. Don't we, folks? We all know who the real driver of the day is around here. And it's that girl in P7. What a debut we have had. Oh, my God. I am overcome with joy, emotion, everything else in between. That, that is absolutely incredible. Look, look at all the cars. We've beat a McLaren. We beat both Alpha Tauri's, both Alpha Romeo's. Beat both racing points, for crying out loud. It's incredible. But uh, Lewis Hamilton, oh, the game's got a hard on for Lewis Hamilton already. He's uh, He wins the Australian Grand Prix and gets the fastest lap as well. Valtteri Bottas in second. Charles Leclerc, Max Verstappen, Sebastian Vettel, P5. Carlos Sainz, P6. Look at that. If, if, the C, if we don't get another point, we can take that away. P7 in the Australian Grand Prix. Unheard of. Lando Norris, Kimi Raikkonen, Kevin Magson round out the top 10. Oh, and uh, wait, look at Tatiana, P16. Wow, what a result for Tatiana. Uh, it's faster than Lance Stroll. Alex Albon with two pit stops. I haven't a clue why he pitted there at the end. We'll uh, have to find out. And uh, two retirements. Esteban Ocon and Daniel Ricciardo, both Renaults having an absolute disaster here at Albert Park. But what a race, folks. What a race. Leave 25 likes on the video just for the race alone. Jesus wept. Oh no, not you again. You gained a lot of positions during the race, didn't you? Well, yes we did. <laughs> oh, don't please don't ask us how. Please. We really don't have no uh how but the car was sticking to the track. That's all we need you to really know. In control of your car out there. Your uh, Jackie and Tatiana were absolutely in control of their car. And I'm thrilled. we got a great team here working with us at uh, Chase Liner. Appreciate your time. Thanks.
All right, and so here's one of the many new screens uh, for F1 2020. We get Team Acclaim. And you see our Team Acclaim is up to level 2 now, which means we can get a brand new sponsor, which we'll uh, get in the next video. $100,000 in cash. You absolutely love to see it. So we're up to 1.19 million between us. Ooh, that's enough to break out uh, a bottle of Coke, I think. Yeah, I think we have uh, just about enough for a bottle of Coke. Well, I think so. You saw we got some upgrades. They're going to be on the car in time for the Bahrain Grand Prix this week. But, wow. Guys. What a debut for Team Chase Line. The ta Tatiana in 16th, very impressive. But let's talk about who the real star is here. And it's the star that we all know and love, as uh, they say. We've got um, two days to go before we go to Bahrain, so we're going to stick some in there in the next video. But guys, 25 likes on the video. I'll drop another one next Tuesday uh, for the uh, Bahrain Grand Prix. But do get subscribed if you haven't already done so for more F1 2020 career mode. NASCAR Heat 4 starts up again next week. We've got Bus Simulator tomorrow, whatever we're playing on Saturday. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.